Hey everyone, Christian here. Today I want to walk you through something really exciting we've been working on. Our VizMaker app now includes Nano Banana 2, fully integrated, which means you can enhance your scenes, render out your 3D views, and redesign entire spaces with AI in just a few steps. I'll show you how to bring in a simple SketchUp kitchen scene, render it with VizMaker, change the full color palette, and even add stools, lamps, and plants just by drawing directly on the image. Let's get started. And here is our 3D model in SketchUp that we are going to be working with. As you can see, it's not a very highly detailed model, but we can absolutely start creating more details and adding more objects within VizMaker. And the very first thing that you have to do is to pick a nice perspective that you want to render out using VizMaker. Once you have that, you can go ahead and click on the VizMaker icon, which I have all the way up here. Click once, and this will export your current view to the application. Once in here, you can see that we have our view ready. And the very first thing that I want to do is to render out this scene. And we can do that in a very efficient way using Nano Banana Pro, which is of course the latest AI model from Google. And we are going to be talking about the other AI models that we have in here, which are quite a few and the best ones on the market right now. But for now, I just want to render out this view. Therefore, I'm going to be clicking on this image and on our bar on the right side, we have also some prompt presets. So you don't really need to think about a prompt when you want to, for example, render the view that we have in here. I'm just going to go ahead and click on view to render and click on make. And you'll be able to notice that this node is up and running. And it also has some basic details at the bottom, such as the AI model that it's being used in here. Additionally, you can run multiple variations at the same time. Again, I'm going to just go ahead and click on make because in some cases, Nano Banana Pro doesn't get it quite right in the first try. You can even go ahead and run it three times or actually as many times as you'd like. And all of the results are now ready and they're looking great. For example, on this render, Nano Banana has kept exactly the same materials that we had on our viewport and even went ahead and added some spotlights on the ceiling. Now I'm going to go ahead and check this other version up here. So I'm going to select it and click on enlarge. This one even has a better lighting, but the curtains don't make much sense on the left side, but this is quite easy to remove. We have to select the image and then type in, for example, remove the curtains. While we have this extra node working, we can now go ahead into this one and start changing some materials or even the overall color palette. For example, I was looking for an extra color palette that I can use for this design. And I found this one that seems really, really interesting. The only thing that we have to do is to right click, copy image, head over to VizMaker, then jump into the draw tab and paste it with Ctrl plus V. Now on the prompt, I can use something like change the materials based on the color palette and click on make. While we wait for this new result, I'm going to click on enlarge to see if Nano Banana actually removed the curtains here and it did. This looks amazing. And while we wait for that color palette, I could actually go ahead and explore another version that my client might want. Like this one, for instance, to pick it with my snipping tool, go back to VizMaker, head over to draw, and I'll get rid of this one by clicking on the bin icon, use Ctrl V, change materials based on the color palette. And I'm ready to go ahead and check out our new kitchen, which is this one right here. And it's looking great. Now, what if I wanted to use a material from my color palette to a specific object on the scene? For example, I want the wood to be on the floor and probably the color on the top left side to be on the cupboards. I'm going to be prompting, use the wood from the color palette on the floor and the ivory material for the cupboards and click on make. Again, I'm going to be checking out my new kitchen over here and this looks pretty awesome. It has definitely kept all of the materials, but it looks a little bit dark. So I can just go ahead and tell it to make the walls white. Make the walls white plaster. And now I'm going to check out the new materials for this other version right here. And it did exactly what I wanted. This looks great. Now it's time to add some more details to this scene, such as bringing in a plant, some stools, and maybe get rid of the spotlights and bring in another lamp. So let's go ahead and do all of that. I'm going to be deleting this prompt and I'm also going to tell it to remove this color palette for now. And while I'm waiting for that, I'm going to be finding some stools online. And I found these, I think they look pretty good. So again, I'm going to right click, copy image, I'll go ahead into the latest version, which is this one. I'm going to head over to draw, enlarge this. Control V. Now I'm going to be using this marker. 
select these stools and tell it where I want them. So basically in here, two of them in here. So my prompt is going to be pretty straightforward. Add the two stools from the image where marked. And while that's loading, I probably want a plant in here. And in order to define the scale of it, the only thing that I have to do is to pretty much draw the plant with the scale that I want. So around this area. Also add a plant on the right side. Okay, again, I'm going to go into my notes and see if they managed to give me the stools that I wanted. And this is amazing. I've got them right here. And I'm going to be checking out the plant now, which was this one. This is great, but the stools are on the wrong spot. And it's going to be really simple to shift them. I just need to tell Nano Banana Pro to shift them to this right side. But before doing so, I'm actually going to be coming back to this image right here with all of my annotations. And while I'm at it, I'm going to be bringing in some lamps that I would like to also see on this design. So again, I'm going to select these lamps and point out where I want them. So I'll just draw them like this. Okay, not the best drawing, but I'm sure that Nano Banana is gonna help me out. And as you can see, we have three different things that we want Nano Banana Pro to handle. So let's put it to the test. So change the lamps, add two stools were marked based on the images and add a plant on the right side. And this is completely amazing. It can actually handle multiple edits in just one go. Now we obviously don't need the spotlights anymore. Therefore, remove the spotlights and reference image. As you can see with VizMaker and the draw tool here, it makes everything so much easier. You don't have to each time use the snipping tool or jump into Photoshop to make all of these edits. You can use VizMaker to make your life a lot easier. And as it you can see, with remove this the lamp so I can go the draw back to this here, image, it makes everything on so much easier. And you don't have to each prompt. time use the so in this tool case, the prompt or that jump I used into Photoshop to make all of these edits, but you can use lamps. this maker, remove the reference image. And here it is. I now want to add a little bit more life, and also the exterior looks quite empty. So, what I'm going to do is again use Nano Banana Pro, use some of the prompt presets down here, which is add people to the image. And while I'm at it, I'm also going to add a garden outside. All right, and here is our image. We've got a family and a nice garden outside. Now, after so many iterations, the image tends to lower on quality. So, at this point, once we have our final result, it will be a good idea and tell Nano Banana again to create a photorealistic image. So we can use the first prompt preset, view to render, and click on make. And we end up with a very nice high resolution image. Finally, to put the cherry on top, we can use one of our AI models here to create a video. So if we go to image to video, you'll see that we have C-Dance, Kling, Sora, and Vio. So basically the best AI video generation models in the market. I'm going to go ahead and select Kling 2.1 and just create a zoom in. So move forward and I'll just add slowly and create the video. As you can see, we can also select the video duration. We have five seconds and 10 seconds. And that's a quick look at how you can use VizMaker with Nano Banana 2 to render your SketchUp scenes and completely redesign them with AI. If you want us to cover more features or walk through specific project types, let us know in the comments. We've got plenty more VizMaker content coming. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.